Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope you're all having a great day and I hope you're ready for another awesome 80s and 90s video. We'll be looking at the 15 most expensive 80s and 90s cars that sold on eBay and all the other major auction platforms last month. This is a pretty comprehensive list. I take a look at almost every site that I can find that posts up their auction results. If you think I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to make sure I add it in the following monthly video. Alright, let's not waste any more time and get right into it. In the 15th spot from 1997 Skybox Metal Universe, we have a Kobe Bryant Precious Metal Gems Red, number 82 out of 100. This is slabbed by BGS and it's authentic altered and it's sold at Golden Auctions for $88,800. So there's 18 total graded with BGS with numerical card grades out of the possible 90 out there because the first 10 sequentially numbered are PMG greens. So there's only 90 reds and the highest graded is three mint BGS nines. All right, moving on, we have a tie for the 13th spot. First up from 1986 tops, we have Jerry Rice's rookie card graded a gem in PSA 10 and sold at PWCC's premier auction for $90,000. So one of these sold in last month's video for March for $121,000 at a golden auction. So that's a pretty big difference down to 90,000. The record for this car is $125,600 from February of 2021. And this is actually this exact same card actually sold in March of 2021 for $100,300. So down $10,000 from that. It's a pop of only 59 in a gem mint slab. Also in that 13 spot from 1986 Clear, we have Michael Jordan's Rookie Year Sticker graded gem in PSA 10 and sold at PWCC's Premier Auction for $90,000. The record for one of these in the gem in slabs $235,000 from February of 2021. That's a big difference. It's a pop of only $121 in a gem in slab. So this exact sticker actually sold in August of 2019 for $10,700. So if the same buyer is a seller here, they made a pretty good return on that one. In the number 12 spot from 1996 Flair Showcase, we have the Kobe Bryant Rookie Row Zero Legacy Collection, number 16 out of 150, graded a gem in PSA 10, sold at Golden Auctions for $97,200. So this is a card with an interesting sales record. So this exact card sold in February of 2018 for $295.95. Can you imagine buying it back then? However, it actually sold again in April of 2021 at a golden auction for $264,000. So that was the record sale for this card last year. Any copies of this one. It's a pop of seven in a gem mint slab, $264,000. Down to $97,200. Wow. In the number 11 spot from 1997 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Stars Gold graded gem in BGS 9.5 and it sold at Golden Auctions for $98,400. So these were inserted one in 2,880 packs and it's a 20 card insert set. So you'd have to rip a lot of packs to find this Jordan. One sold last month in March. It was on the March list for $102,000. So this is right in that ballpark. It's a pop of 17 in a gem mint slab. This one had subgrades of 9.5 for centering corners, edges, surface, and there's actually one higher graded pristine BGS 10. And the number 10 spot, even though this is 80s and 90s, I sneak in the 1979 80 Opeachy Wayne Gretzky rookie card just because I want to. I feel like Gretzky fits in the 80s more than the vintage. So here we go. This is a Mint PSA 9 copy and it sold on eBay for $111,212. It's a pop of 92 in a mint slab and there's two higher graded gem mint PSA 10s. The record for a mint 9 is 265000 from April of 2021. So we've dropped down quite a bit from that point last year. But still low pop of only 92 in a mint slab. In the number 9 spot from 1981 Tops, we have Joe Montana's rookie card 
graded a gem in PSA 10 and sold at PWCC's premier auction for $114,000. This copy has a PWCC above average eye appeal, which means top 15% first grade. That's a record sale. The previous eye was $103,200 from last month's golden auction. So apparently there's a few buyers out there that think that PWCC got it right with that above average eye appeal rating. It's a pop of 108 in a gem mint slab. And the number eight spot from 1984 star. We have a Michael Jordan extended rookie card, number 101, graded mint BGS9 and sold at PWCC's premier auction for $132,000. This copy had a PWCC above average eye appeal, which is the top 30% for his grade. It's a pop of 72 in a mint slab, and there's three higher graded gem in BGS 9.5s. Moving on, we have a tie for the sixth spot. First up from 1997 Skybox Metal Universe Championship. We have a Kobe Bryant Precious Metal Gems, number 50 out of 50. Graded a mint BGS 9, sold at Golden Auctions for $144,000. Subgrades were 10 for centering, 9.5 for surface, 9 for edges, and 8.5 for corners. It's a pop 4 in the mint slab, and there's none graded higher. Pretty awesome to have the serial number 50 out of 50 as well. Also in that 6th spot from 1980 tops, we have Ricky Henderson's rookie card, graded gem mint PSA 10, and sold at PWCC's premier auction for $144,000. This copy here is from the Dimitri Young collection. The record for a Henderson rookie card is $180,000 from February of 2021. This one has a pretty interesting sales history. I'll, get, I'll tell you the pop first. It's a pop of 25 in a gem mint slab. So the history of this exact card. So initially first sale SCP auction in May 2012 for $11,000. And then uh, Heritage Auctions in February of 2021 for $168,000. So currently the second highest sale of all time. And then a few months later in July of 2021, it sold at PWCC auction on eBay for $76,000. So $168,000 in February of 2021. Then down to $76,000 in July of 2021. Ouch. However, whoever bought it then... Sold it at this PWCC premium auction for $144,000, assuming there wasn't a private sale in the middle there. So definitely an interesting sales history for that one. Big swings, big winners, and big losers. All right, let's take a look at what we have in the top five. First up from 1998 Upper Deck. We have a Michael Jordan game jersey autograph. Number 13 out of 23, graded a mint BGS9 with a 10 grade for the auto and sold at Golden Auctions for $168,000. Subgrades were 10 for centering, 9.5 for corners and edges, and 8.5 for surface. Pretty strong subgrades with 110 and two 9.5s. It's a pop 11 and there are 7 higher graded gem mint BGS 9.5. In the number four spot from 1997 Upper Deck UD3, we have the Michael Jordan season ticket autograph card, graded in mint BGS9 with a 10 grade for the auto, and it sold at Golden Auctions for $229,200. Wow. Subgrades were 9.5 for edges, 9 for centering corners and surface. It's a pop of only 8 in the mint slab, and there's none graded higher. In the third spot from 1986 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan's rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This copy sold at Golden Auctions for $252,000. So this exact copy actually sold in May of 2020 for $70,000. So that's a nice return. The record for a Jordan rookie card is $840,000 from a PWCC sale in July of 2021. That was a superior eye appeal card, which is top 5% for its grade. Pop of Jordan's rookie card is 318 in a gem mint slab. In the number two spot from 1993 Upper Deck SP, we have Derek Jeter's rookie card graded gem mint PSA 10, and it sold at Golden Auctions for $600,000. 
one of the toughest cars out there to gem. And that's a record sale. Previous high was $492,000 from May of 2021. It's a low pop of only 21 in a gem mint slab. And top in the list for the number one 80s and 90s cars sold in April. We have the 1980 Tops Larry Bird Magic Johnson rookie card with a Julie Servin joining the show. Graded gem in PSA 10 and sold at PWCC's premier auction for $840,000. Wow. That's the second highest sale. The record is this actually, it's this exact same card sold for $861,000 at a golden auction in August of 2021. It's the last August. So we're down 20 grand off that top sale, but still a pretty strong sale. 840,000 bucks. It's a low pop of only 22 in a gem mint slab. All right, that's it for the list. That's it for the most expensive 15 80s and 90s cards with a little bit of 79.80 in there. And the total was $3,198,812. So we're up a bit, we're up quite a bit from the previous month. Nice variety of cards in there. Saw some record sales and saw a few that were down quite a bit from their highs. So definitely a mix of everything. We'll see what May brings us. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. All right, if you haven't done so already, please take a second and hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. Check out the affiliate links we have in the description below. You can save 10% at BCW Supplies with the code JUNKWAX10. You can also save 20% on your first month subscription of the Market Movers app with the code JWI20. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.